Hi guys and welcome back to part 6 of this Citroen Relay camper van conversion. Uh, just want to give you a quick update of where we left off from part 5. Um, we have lights, uh, I've got everything finished off under here. And everything's boxed off, seat belt frames in and everything. We've got the uh, the leisure battery there uh, and obviously everything's boxed in for the, for the sergeant kit. Uh, this seat frame now is, is fitted. Um, See, uh, I've still not got the lid on the back here. Uh, I've got to make that, but the seat belt's in, and uh, we've got the receiver down there as well. Uh, we've got the other side in, but no seat box on that side yet. Um, we've got uh, some lockers made. Obviously, we've got the kitchen locker, got a light on there as well. Um, we've got the locker that's going to be over the forward facer on that side as well. They're all finished off boxed off, um, obviously no doors yet, I'm still waiting for the doors, um, a lot brighter now with uh, having the lights. I've got um, two switches here, first one uh, does the back two lights, so they're separate and then we've got one that's going to be over the kiddies bunk, that's on its, uh, its own switch as well and we have got the bunk in as well. Um, Got the boards made, uh, shaped them all in. Uh, I've got the cushions as, as well. I've had everything in place, everything fits nicely. It all pulls out. I've actually been up there myself. Um, obviously, I'm a, a fully grown uh, man that's, that's got up there, but um, the kiddies will have no problem. Um, the actual rails uh, that are going across here, I've had to reinforce everything uh, to give it that strength. Um, They've got aluminium rails as well, extra wooden rails in there and everything. And obviously that wrap of the carpet as well makes everything uh, solid. Uh, I'll show you that in a second anyway. Um, at the moment, uh, I've got this partition in. Obviously that's the backrest to this other forward facer here. Uh, I've got uh, some storage underneath where the oven's going to go. Uh, I've got all this made up and I've got the separate partition here. And this is where the rest of the kitchen's going to go here. Um, I've just cut the front, I've uh, marked everything up for the doors, uh, for the openings and everything, I'm about to cut them in a second, uh, but what I'll do, um, I'll set the camera up and uh, I'll show you this bunk and we'll see it, uh, see it all set up. Right, okay, so we've got the bunk slid out, uh, I've got two panels, uh, I've got middle one there, Obviously the second one there, so there's only two boards to slide out. Got the handle on there to pull everything out as well. So moving back, stepping up. There's three cushions, so you've got your, your first one, your second one, there's one down at the bottom there. Well this is six foot long. Uh, I know for a kiddie it's probably a bit long, but I wanted to key it in with uh, the locker ends and everything uh, to make sure everything was nice and solid. Uh, it's nice and bright up here. Obviously you've got the, the roof vent, obviously that single switch there you can switch off um, if you want to isolate that front end uh, and then directionals there, they're obviously useful in the day as well because they're directly over the seats that's below um, but obviously great for, for the kids at night but no there's plenty of room, uh, the gentleman whose vanities came down yesterday had a look he was happy with it, he thinks uh, the grandkids are going to love it I know my kids would anyway, but uh, yeah, that's turned out really nice. Uh, I'm really happy with that. Uh, like I said, everything's nice and neat under underneath as well. So, um, what I'm going to do now, like I said, I'm going to move on to the kitchen, um, and I'll, I'll do some filming of that. I think this episode is going to be mainly focusing on the kitchen anyway, because we've got a big job on, on this one. It's quite a big, big kitchen. So I'll, um, I'll set the camera up and I'll start on with that.
Right, okay, so we've got the uh, the kitchen unit fitted now, as you can see. Um, it's jumped quite a bit further forward because we're, we're on a bit of a deadline with this one now, so we've uh, we've got a uh, all hands on deck situation at the moment. But um, as you can see, uh, a lot of stuff that I probably didn't show you on the build. Uh, we've got the drawer in there that was done on the bench, um, the gas compartment. I got the regulator in there. Was the torch? Uh, got the uh, the regulator in and uh, the gas taps they were in um, you see the it's all aluminium lined but yeah the gas taps and the regulator were done on the bench uh, all the sides were lined as you probably saw as you can see so that's fully sealed drop out vent on that's our pressure tester there as well um, so having a look in, inside there, we've got the gas pipes running across, one going to the hob uh, and the oven over there. And we've got the other one coming across, which is going to go down to the heater, I'll show you that in a second. We've got another one coming on the outside here that's going into the fridge. Obviously you can see the pipes coming across. Uh, don't forget she's got a raised floor going on, so you're not going to see any of these pipes, uh, gas pipes, water pipes, anything. Uh, we've got the, uh, the outlet there, the waste outlet. Uh, this, the worktop obviously fitted when uh, the, uh, the unit was in, so that was cut to size uh, and obviously shaped in, but that can only be done obviously once, uh, once the unit's in. And we've got the appliances in, um, oven, and a sink and drainer here as well, and the tap. Uh, we've got the doors to put on yet, uh, that's one of the next jobs. Um, and again, some more plumbing down there, that's coming from the water filler going down into the tank. The tanks are on, I've done them this morning. Uh, next job is now the heater and also we've got the other two bedding boxes in now as well. As you can see the seat belt frames are as well. Um, so I think this is probably going to be the last of the how-to videos on this one, the next one will be the full tour one. Um, and obviously you'll see the raised floor, all the upholstery in and everything else. Um, the Horrocks blind there as well. Um, we're just framing up for the back one as well. That one's on there. Um, so yeah, like I said, we, we're on a bit of a deadline with this one. Uh, so we've had the, the video on this one has jumped forward a little bit. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, this last one of the uh, the how-to videos, um, and I'll get uh, a full tour one done probably in the next day or so. So that'll probably be on for the weekend as well. Uh, but if you've got any questions or anything like that, don't hesitate to ask. Drop them in the comments section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, but many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye bye.